This is David, Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. I am setting up this Senville mini split that's going to feed two rooms right here. And I have run the lines for the first room and got those connected up top, put in the conduit covers for the, the lines to run down, the, the drain hose is in there, the supply and return for the Freon is in there, and then the power line uh, is in there, and I cut down the 16 foot Freon lines that are going to go to this room. I have a kit that I bought on Amazon that allows you to cut the pipe and flare the pipe. And I also purchased this tool right here, which allows you to deburr the inside of the Freon line after you cut it. And I purchased some of these little seals that you install inside of the when you put the nut on there that little pack comes with four of these tiny little bits of rubbery plastic and I'm sure some folks will say that it's not necessary to put these on here but I put them on my first one and it sealed up fine so I figured I'd put it on this one too. Uh, and it comes with four of them. One for the end of the pipe that connects to the compressor. And then I put the other two up there where this connects to the lines that are coming out of the back of the air handler. So after using this tool to cut the pipe Focus. I ran that around there real, real slow and cut the pipe and then you put the deburring tool in here and you run that around and around and around to take the burr out and then you need to flare the pipe after having cut the pipe you need to put the flare on it and i'm going to do that right now before i flare it i want to add that i cut these pipes at the same length and I have started this nut by hand. You always want to start a nut, uh, start those by hand before you put a tool on there. And now that that one's done, I'm going to cut this this line back here so that it will be at the the right length for connecting to the. that joint right there. And I have now cut this piece of pipe off of there. You want to make sure that you always start with putting the nut onto the pipe first and then put your flare tool on. You want to make sure that it's facing the correct direction so the threads are facing towards the end of the pipe. And the nuts on there, and then this half of the flaring tools on there. You want to have the pipe sticking out just a little bit, maybe an eighth of an inch beyond the side of the flaring tool. And then 
you put the concentric tool on there that puts the flare on and I'm going to put this on and you put that on in the way that that uh, the point on this flare gets right down on the tip of the copper pipe and there it is with this tool on there it kind of twists through the side like that and you put the tip of the cone in there and you twist this handle about two full revolutions and that's going to put the flare onto the tip of the pipe and there it is I just rotated the handle down and it has put the flare on there you loosen these up that comes open and then you've got the flare on there I like to put a little bit of this nylog on the outside of the tip there as well as on the threads and then you can put the flare the flare is going to sit like that and then get that started by hand.